Welcome to Click, I'm Beppe the Blue Alien. And if you're not keen on my new look, let me assure you that my real appearance right now is even more disturbing. If you haven't seen this before, this is how computer-generated characters in movies and video games are created. A real actor will wear a motion capture or mocap suit like this covered in these highly reflective dots. And it's the movement of these dots around this virtual stage which is all important. There are 66 special cameras around me which are registering the movement of the dots which become joints and body parts onto which you can drop any kind of body you fancy, from a humanoid to a crazy cartoon character. Today we're at the studios of Audio Motion just outside Oxford. And while the set may look rather empty, the tech around it not only gives the post-production team complete freedom over an actor's appearance, but they can even alter their performance long after the shoot has taken place. You can start with the true performance that happened on the day, but you can also tweak it a little bit if you want to. You can embellish it or you can play it down. You can emphasise certain things or de-emphasise certain things. Um, and by recreating a shot world inside a computer, that fle flexibility exists. Even if the end result is a completely virtual character, performance capture still needs that human element, the performance artist wearing the suit. And in fact, it's ushering in a new breed of actor who's aware of both its possibilities and its restrictions you have to make sure the balls don't get um, cloaked or hidden from the cameras. So if two actors get close together, for instance, then they're going to get hidden. So you have to make sure that movements stay far apart, or if they are together, then they don't stay that close for very long. And it enables us, especially on screen, to be able to do far more um, effects and, and make stunts safer, for instance. Um, so it's something um, that I think every actor should start to have on their, their repertoire. These days, it's also possible to see a fairly good version of the finished shot on set in real time, rather than having to wait for months of post-production. And that's handy if you're perfecting your Shakespearean remake of the Dirty Dancing routine. Never lets you go. And if you don't have a hunky actor to lift you into the air, well, that's no problem either. Sometimes it is necessary to be up higher in this virtual space. For example, if I need to maintain an eye line with an actor who's down there. Well, that's fine. They can build you a set of steps. You can climb them and then in post, after the event, they can turn this into a virtual balcony, for example. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou? Romeo. Is this a good look? a performance for your consideration there. But while my Oscar dodging act can easily be caught by the cameras all around me, there is one area of my body that's a lot harder to pinpoint. And that's where this beast comes in. It's the very latest in facial capture technology. The helmet holds four high def cameras that sit just outside of the wearer's vision. Each one records data from dots of makeup that are strategically placed on the actor's face to help capture each tiny muscle movement. It is a step forward in accurately recreating an actor's performance, but it still does require a little bit of getting used to. Hello. With motion capture, you really have to enhance your expressions because you don't have the eyes. The eyes come later with the computer geniuses. So we have to either frown more if we're sad, smile more if we're happy, but not to the extreme like it's a theatrical, over-the-top pantomime performance. Yes, so not overdoing it then is the key. But as we've learned, even my moves can now be reined in to the precise amount of flailing the director wants to see. And if said director really does want to get hands on, they can grab this mobile pseudo camera and see the shot from whatever angle they like. That said, no decision needs to be final these days. You can recreate the world that was shot on the day inside a computer and you can mess with camera angles after the fact. You can tweak performances, you can emphasise or de-emphasise. You've got that flexibility to be able to do more work after the shoot. But you're also capturing the truth of what happened on the day. And with all of these cameras capturing this virtual space, the sky's no longer the limit on where you can place your actors. 